Okay, so today we're looking at the filter formula. So what the filter formula does is it enables you you can filter your data based on a criteria which is specified. So this time we're going to filter this data, but now I want to specify it based on the pizza sold and what we want to see odd veggie. Okay, so to use the filter formula, we'll just come here and do equals to filter. Now our array, array is going to be our entire data set. So you got to control shift left and down, comma. If you include, you want this equals to, then now equals to this, see so to this. And then if, it's, if you can't find this, what should it tell us? Return it with not, or even not available. I think that sounds better. So when it's done, you close the bracket and you press enter. So when I talk about the filter formula, it's also a dynamic array. So it says that it's when you use the formula, it cannot spill. So I did the formula here and it spilled here and it spilled over. So you can see all these lines. Okay, so this is what the formula does. If there was something in the cell before so let me, let me copy this formula. Okay, so let me see there was something here. Maybe chicken. And I come here now to write my formula. Yeah, so it's not going to work. So the area is going to spill after always be empty. All right, so now we're going to take this one more step. Okay, so we're going to use this formula now. But if you notice, when I did the formula, it gave me return back all the columns that are available. Okay, let's, so let's assume I don't want to see the time. I also don't want to see the time range. I just want to see the pizza and the amount. So you can use that. So your formula, you use a filter in. So you filter the filter. So here again, you just write filter. This is going to be array. Now, what do I want to include? So now I want to include the first column. So yes, for the second column, I also want to. I don't want to see, so I put a zero. I also don't want to see the third column, so I also put a zero. I want to see the amount sold column, so I put a one, and I put a zero, comma zero, and you close this bracket and you close your main bracket, enter. Okay, so as you can see, the now the formula only showed us the column which I specified. So that's how to use the filter formula to fit your data. And that's how to use the filter formula again to also pick out. So so you can filter. So the first one I filtered it on the row like this by picking those the odd veggie. Now the second filter which I use kind of filtered it more from the column base. So now I picked out the column I want from my entire data set.